What is going on guys, this is Brent again, and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to add some cool animation effects when we're adding and deleting customers from our database. So check this out. Adding a customer, we're gonna see a customer shot up from the bottom here. Deleting a customer, we're gonna see this cool modal uh, pop up uh, confirming that we want to delete. I'm also gonna show you how to do that. If we click OK, you're gonna see a bouncing in and out effect showing you that it's been deleted uh, from our database. Uh, so go ahead and stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. So Animate CSS has a bunch of cool animation effects already pre-coded in CSS. So if you go to their GitHub account, you can check it out. Uh, check this out. So we can do uh, bounce. Um, you can check them all out. Rubber banding, bounce down, and stuff like that. So we're going to add those to our ng repeat list of customers. So the first thing to do is to get that CSS file. So I'm going to go to cdnjs.com. We're going to type in animate CSS is the first thing that pops up we can just copy the link here so now I'm gonna go back here into my index.ejs file at the top I'm gonna to link it with a new style sheet and go ahead and paste that CSS file in you'll also see that there's a CSS slash custom CSS uh, file here and we've used that in previous tutorials and we'll also use it in this tutorial so make sure you have your own custom CSS file to use the, uh, the animations in Angular, we're going to use a, a module called ng-animate. In ng-animate, add CSS classes uh, when certain actions are performed, like an object enters or leaves a ng-repeat, uh, a new view enters or leaves the screen, and a variety of things that you can uh, look at here. We're going to download that module. So if we go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of this page, uh, you'll see the installation instructions. Google hosts a CDN for this file. So we can just go ahead and copy this and we'll go back to our uh, index.ejs file at the very bottom. We're gonna do a script and, excuse, sorry about that. Um, we'll paste that link in and for file nine's sake, HTTPS, and then in the XYZ right here, we fill it in with a version number. I'm gonna use version 1.3.0 and we'll save that. So make sure you include it after our angular.js file and before our app.js file so everything works right. Um, go to your app.js file and we are going to include ng-animate in our dependencies. I've already done it here, but you'll just type it uh, right after ng-resource and go ahead and save that. The final thing we need to do for animation is to edit our custom CSS file to tell Angular which animation we want to execute when something enters or leaves our ng repeat list. So if we look here, we can see our repeat, we are repeating a table row. So we're going to use that in our CSS file. If we go to our custom.css file, we're going to do table row dot ng enter, and that's where we'll put our inner animation and table row dot ng leave where we'll put our exit animation and save that. So inside these, all we have to do is type in animation and then give it the name of our animate.css animation. So if we go to the website here, you can see they're all named, what their animations do and stuff like that. Um, so all we have to type is, is the name of that animation. Uh, for enter, I'm gonna do bounce in up is the name of the animation and we want it to animate over one second. And then for our ng leave animation, um, it's going to be bounce out in the duration of one second and save that. So if we run our app now, we can add a new customer and you'll see that the animation slides in from the bottom or bounces in from the bottom actually. And then if we delete a item, it bounces out a little bit and then deletes and is removed from our list. As for these modals that you'll see when I delete and it asks for a confirm box, I'm using a, a small library called bootbox.js. Now it um, allows you to have prompts, alerts, um, and confirms, and also a custom modal that you can make yourself. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the confirm modal, uh, so let's go grab it. So if you go to cdnjs.com, you can search for Bootbox, and here we have it. We can go ahead and copy that link. Uh, then I'll do at the bottom of my index.ejs uh, page, I'll add this script. Um, and then for Cloud9's sake, we're going to do HTTPS and save that. 
So to use Beatbox, it's pretty simple. If we go to our customer API controller uh, and we go to our delete function, what we can do is we can type in bootbox dot confirms bring up a confirmation dialog um, then we're going to say what we're going to list uh, the text in there so are you sure wow if I had spaces you sure you want to delete this customer and then the next is a function that returns the uh, answer so if the answer answer is true then we can delete the customer so let's put that back here oops and just there we go and delete this one and go ahead and save that and just for good measure I'll show you what an alert looks like so it's very simple boot box dot alert um, and then the message so customer deleted and uh, save that. So now testing it, if we go ahead and click the icon here, we can cancel it, nothing happens. And if we try again and click OK, it deletes that and it pops up with an alert, customer deleted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete that customer deleted because I don't like it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. We talked about some simple animations using Animate CSS and AngularJS. And of course we talked about some uh, modals uh, using Bootbox. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of that, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Uh, if you have, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're feeling generous, go ahead and hit that Patreon button. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.